And so, Barack, we, we see that antitrust and competition law are very controversial. And the question is, what is exactly driving this phenomenon? Uh, I think that you have three different perspectives, or almost three. Uh, so, one thing I would say that. Uh, uh, first of all, everything I think that is inconsistent with what John Bolt uh, is, in, is incorrect, so that's what I should then say in advance. But uh, uh, one thing is that we see different legal culture, I think that our legal culture did very well, and it is, everything you said is, is right, but if there are different legal culture, but we are in a global economy, and as much as we want to protect individuals, uh, we better have some kind of, uh, a, a, some kind of standards that, harmonize the systems because at the end the economy is global. So that's one thing, again, the legal culture. In this context, I would say that the, the Europe is far more formalistic in its legal jurisprudence than the United States. I personally feel uncomfortable with formalism. I think that it can be manipulated far more than other things and it has less flexibility. But that, that's again, it's part of I live in the United States and I think that Israeli culture is, more, is less formalistic. But they, Everything you said is right. That's part of the shared tension. The other thing is, I think that what I agree with what John said is basically transform the discussion of competition into a competitive process. So, for example, he said that uh, he, or he identified in the, co the notion of competitive process all the flaws that we see in competition, that it can have multiple meanings. But I, I think the way I think about it is that we should have some kind of expertise uh, that can advance. It's true that the expertise can be manipulated, but I guess that I guess that. I mentioned yesterday about how kind of, what kind of things you could think about the competitive process, so for example, the matching maker, matching and search, not, like, not just price and output, or what Howard said about what are the, that the, uh, innovation is part of the production function. So these are things that I think are important to understand, and it is true that we'll always have some kind of disagreement in the, in the, technical, in the technical discussion, the economics, but uh, I think that we better have some kind of one language in order for the global economy. So that's, that's my understanding.